Life consists of energy, and all of life moves in a constant flow from one extreme to another, flowing back and forth in an eternal cycle or wave-like manner. Welcome to the PL School of Drummond Geometry. Here in lesson one, we're going to talk about the PL dot and the push and refresh movement of the PL dot, which forms this constant flow from one extreme to another, back and forth in the market. This is a tradable pattern, and it is where you will make your money. So let's get started on lesson one. Well, this is the kind of bar chart we use. Let's take a look at it. It's a little different than the conventional bar chart. First of all, we use very fat bars because this lets us chart indicators on top of this, as you'll see later in the course. Also, we don't chart the open, but we do chart the close. This is a close here, this little bump. That's the close, but we don't really pay, pay much attention to the open. That's not significant for our methodology. Also, we don't put a lot of bars on any individual chart. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's plenty for our purposes. We don't chart very long data series. But notice, this happens to be a short-term chart, but it could be a monthly chart. It could be a quarterly chart. It could be a yearly chart, so that we would be charting seven years worth of data, except each year would be one bar. So this business of time frame charts will become very, very important as we move on. So let's proceed. Sometimes in our teaching, we put more bars on a chart if we're trying to make a particular point. But when we're trading, we really don't need this many bars on a chart to determine what we're up to. Here on this chart, we're, we've laid on some of the Drummond geometry lines, which develop support and resistance areas. Here's a resistance area, for example. Uh, there's support, there's resistance. Later in the course, we'll not only teach you how to do these lines, we'll teach you how they get grouped together. For example, the resistance area here would consist of the area between these lines, and this support area here would consist of this area between these lines. But that's all later in the lesson. Let's proceed now. This is very straightforward, but we want you to understand this dot is created from the calculations of this day, and this day, and this day. This dot is created from the calculations of Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So three bars, and then the dot. 